first thing Tuesday morning and obviously I'm going to have the opportunity to train first thing this morning and things have kind of unfolded in a very curious way here um, so we'll still get in get under the bar get the workout done but a lot more in min work and there are no appointments no more appointments it's not a thing now uh, it won't be for a while so a lot of time to be productive and get things done but it's also very very strange but got to control what you can and on that note i control my top 10 single on the incline bench at 282 pounds an all-time personal best before rolling into some back offsets with 254 pounds respectively and then moving into close grip pull downs with the palms facing me these always trash my biceps and forearms but of course they're effective for developing the mid and upper back as well from the supinated pull downs i transitioned into kneeling dumbbell shrugs rocking the 50s out for sets of 15 and supersetting them again with the dumbbell seated power cleans one of my favorite supersets when working the traps every single time i feel like my traps are up to my ears by the time i've run through two or three combinations in succession the pump is incredible it's so silly dumbbell seated power cleans though those are what really gets me and i'm not sure i'll ever be able to do this exercise with any respectable weight i've seen guys do it with 25 and 30 pounds while maintaining quality form over high rep sets i can only hope to be able to manage that one day in the future because these are deceptively brutal and they're incredibly humbling from there i went into the close grip barbell jm press up to 85 pounds now still clearing sets of 15 repetitions definitely more than adequate pump in the back of the arms and then transitioned into some single arm tricep press downs on the cable machine just to burn out the triceps for the day all in all considering the stress levels in my life right now i'm going to take this session as a win then i transitioned on from thursday's training session into a top end single on the ssb squat 355 pounds one rep backed it off with 315 pounds for four singles and then moved into the split squats which i'm becoming much more proficient at 97 pounds here for seven reps per respective set really starting to climb with this one i imagine it's going to become a little bit ridiculous kind of like my barbell walking lunges once i get better at setting up without toppling over Finished off this training session with some belt squat marches. The glutes were on fire. The glutes were burning, but we got through it. Nice hitting these top end singles, and they're moving smoothly. That's the type of stuff I do like. Started off Saturday's upper body training session with a top end set of pin presses. We're working four inches off of the chest right now, prioritizing my lockout as that is an individual weak point that I struggle with. 320 pounds for a triple with 304 pounds for two triples to back it off. Then from there, went into weighted chin-ups. It's important to note that I do incorporate my body weight into weighted chin-ups, considering it can fluctuate and I am pulling it up to the bar. So right before I get into chin-ups, pull-ups, or dips, I check my body weight with what I'll be wearing for the working sets themselves, and then I back my body weight out and add whatever I need to make up the difference. From there, burned out with three sets of wide grip inverted rows on the Swiss bar, and then took the Swiss bar for a spin again with some neutral grip angled skull crushers. It is interesting to note, or at least I find it interesting, that I'm able to move quite a bit more weight for more repetitions and more volume across with the neutral grip positioning on the Swiss bar than I am with just dumbbell lying extensions. So there's no way I could do 60 pounds for four sets of eight as of current with the uh, lying extensions with dumbbells. But for some reason, I'm almost there in comparable load on the Swiss bar. And that's to a degree, one reason why variation is so important because you're going to be able to work different ranges of motion that you might excel just a little bit more and me getting stronger here will carry over to me eventually being able to rock the 60s for sets of eight on the dumbbell extension and reaping the benefits of that respective yield did two sets of diamond push-ups just to kind of burn out the triceps there get a solid pump in and then as soon as the push-ups were complete i finished off this workout with some high rep sets on the reverse barbell curl got to keep that grip strength developing and of course those forearms 
as well. Comes in handy when I got to hit the arms folded over disappointed coach look on TikTok. All in all, I would say that this was a very progressive training session. And now I just got to wrap up the week with lower body. Started off Sunday working that volume, building out that base foundation on the low bar squat. Six sets of six with 324 pounds. My legs were more than adequately pumped after this. And I'm pretty confident the DOMS is going to hit me kind of hard. Went from here into a deficit deadlift, top end single, 435 pounds, all-time personal best. Surprisingly, my deficit deadlifts are really closing the gap on my conventional deadlifts, which is encouraging because I imagine that's going to carry over very well when I remove that deficit and pull straight off the floor. And that is the intent. Worked on the back extensions, the plate loaded ones, as I have been. Not really sure how I feel about these yet. I think I need to do them with 25s or 35s so that I can really work that range of motion. It's not horrible, but it could definitely be better. And I think that loading it with 25s and maybe a longer post or sleeve to put the weights on would prove to be quite progressive on this variation.